hey everyone welcome back to another video so today we have a special unboxing so as you can see it is the razer stream controller well uh, razer has collaborated with loop tech to create this product so it was already a ready made product from loop tech and now with razer coming in they have collaborated and you know rebranded it a little bit and uh, now it's called the razer stream controller so let's first see the box let's take a quick look at what comes in the box and uh, we'll take it from there so as you can see this comes with 12 haptic touch buttons six multifunction tactile dials and then eight programmable buttons so everything that you require can be programmed with ease uh, so this is how the box looks there you go. So there. I have all the details which I mentioned. So I've already cut the uh, cut the tape from both the side, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this thing. Since I'm using one hand, I had to cut it ahead of time so that I can do this unboxing easily. So there you go, let's open and take a look. Yes, so there is a bit of a foam here to protect the stream controller. And this is how it looks straight out of the box. There is a peelable sticker. Then this is the back side of it there is the USB type C port and below the sides yep pretty tactile click pretty satisfying click so let's see what is underneath this okay as expected this will be a quick start guide yep that's a quick start guide mm, and there is a thank you letter from Razer CEO There should be a knowing razor, there should be a sticker. Yeah, there you go. It comes with a sticker pack. So let's see what else comes in the box. So here we have a stand for the stream controller if you want to, you know keep it at a little bit of an inclined position I will show how that works later on in the video and this will be the USB type A to type C connection cable uh, pretty good quality cable fully braided so yeah and on the, this end it will be like a 90 degree connection and on the other side yeah standard usb type a connection so that's it that's what is in the box there you go that is everything which comes in the box now let's let me go set it up and uh, show you guys how i'm planning to use it Stay tuned. 
so there you have the stream controller i have set everything up and i have uh, razer synapse running on my pc right now that's the pc you guys have already seen it if you have seen some of my older videos yes so let's take a closer look at the stream controller that's it i have set up few different pages right now so this will be the default page where i have uh, my obs youtube chrome and twitch running and then uh, if you go to my first page under the first page i have set up few more things uh, basically everything is related to obs and uh, screen recording um few buttons here i have set up for uh, nvidia shadow play recording and then uh, on the third page uh, these are the some of the things which uh, came in default so i haven't set everything up but uh, just what is required for me at the moment so let's just click on obs and see how it pops up okay there it shows obs and there you go my obs has popped up so i've set up all these different uh, keys related to obs to go live to start recording uh, for screen recording using nvidia uh, shadow play and uh, you know things like that uh, different scenes which i have set up in obs those are the first three ones uh and i've set up my uh systems master volume here and then these are the mic volume and uh, the uh desktop audio volume uh which is uh part of the obs setup which i was talking about and on this side i've set up uh, uh if you can see the backlight of the device so if i turn it on uh Uh, it will be full brightness if i dial it back down then the brightness comes down and turns off yeah i also set up the led brightness also the bottom led brightness that can also be controlled so now let's uh, take a quick look at the software which is used to control the stream controller so i'll uh, show you guys a bit more details about how to you know set up some of the keys so yeah let's launch the loop tech uh, software so like i said this is how it looks so we have all the pages at the bottom as you can see i have only currently set up the home page and also the page 1 2 3 and 4 uh these pages a uh, few of them uh came in already configured default i just set up a few pages which i wanted for myself which is this page number 1 uh like i mentioned uh, it mostly consist of everything related to uh obs and the recording software which i use mainly uh, to record the gameplay i use nvidia shadow play also and also obs sometimes uh but for mainly streaming yeah it's directly from obs is what i'm using so i have set up a few different things here uh first three buttons like i mentioned is for my uh, scenes which i have set up and then a uh, few different uh, options from nvidia this is to enable uh, the fps counter from nvidia and uh, uh, yeah this is for recording and uh, this is for uh, the screenshot so i'll just quickly take you uh, through uh, how to sign a new button so on the right side of the uh, software you can see that all the uh, software is or all, all, all the let's say utilities from the marketplace which you have downloaded can be seen on this side 
so what you need to do is if you need to install another let's say plugin then you can go and install it so once you install the plugin it should show up over here let's say for example i have already installed the obs studio plugin so now you can select obs and i can see all these actions which are available so i can uh, let's say i want to add one of these action means all i need to do is just drag and drop it over a button and then it pops up over there and the next thing if i want to uh, let's say uh, edit the look of how that uh, button looks uh, that option is right over here see a small icon here you just click on it and then you will be able to uh, if you have some icons in your uh, system already you can browse and select that or if you have already installed some icon pack from the marketplace for example like this the icon packs from the marketplace if you have already installed some of these packs you will be able to see it over here icon library then uh, all the installed packs so you can select one of these let's say but uh, icon let's say for example i'm selecting this one select ok and i press save then you can see the icon has already changed and the same will be reflecting right now on your uh, stream controller suppose if i want to unassign it so I'll just click on these three dots and just select unassign and that will be gone from the stream stream controller <coughs> now if you want to let's say control everything is everything in twitch you will have to sign into your account then you will be able to configure all these things as well now if you want to add a custom action let's say a keyboard shortcut for example with multiple key clicks then what you need to do is click on the three dots in an empty uh, empty button then select create custom action and select uh, keyboard shortcut then what you can do is create a name for that uh, action let's say i want to call it record there you go i put record and let's say what are the actions you want to select that you can do now i'm gonna say when i press this button it should record this action alt plus f9 and then that action shows up over there then save it now you can see that action is already saved to that button now if you want to change the image uh, let's say eye context you can do that also record let's say I want to say start now on the stream controller on the button it will say record start yeah now that I have saved it it should pop up right over there now if I want if you want to use a custom icon like I showed earlier all you need to do is select this button select the button then come over here select this icon and from the available icons which you have already installed just select the one which you liked just keep in mind that uh, when you are using a custom action or custom icon you will not be able to write or like have a text on top of it so on the stream controller you will only be seeing that uh, let's say animated gif so yeah like i mentioned uh, it's pretty easy to understand the software it's uh, i didn't feel like it was so complicated i was actually looking online and everybody was uh, saying that compared to the products like elgato stream deck and all this particular software was uh, it 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 is it was a little complicated for many people but uh, i have never used the elgato products so i'm not really sure how easy that software is 
but for me it wasn't that tough to figure out how to configure all these for me i felt like it was pretty easy to understand and you know it was pretty intuitive so why did i choose to buy the razer string controller um why did i choose it um against the elgato you know more popular elgato products well basically i like the brand razer i have a few different razer products now as if you have seen some of the some of my other videos and also at the time of me buying this this one was in a pretty good discount uh, when razer launched this product it was uh, i would say pretty expensive uh, it was around 270 or 280 dollars or something uh, but right now it is on a big discount uh, as you can see on amazon it is available for around 150 dollars so 539 dirhams means it is around 150 dollars and uh, i also checked some of the elgato products so this uh, elgato stream deck plus was the competing product which i was looking for but it is still around uh, you know around uh, 200 dollars so i thought you know uh, why not get the cheaper one itself i hope you guys understood uh, you know how to uh, how to configure your uh, stream controller if you guys need any other info uh, feel free to hit me up uh, i'll be adding a link to buy this product also amazon link to buy the product also underneath the uh, in the video description and uh, if you like the video please uh, subscribe and uh, like the video uh, and uh, please share it with your friends as well uh, and like i mean uh, like i always mention if you guys want to see any other um, if you have any doubts about this product or if you want to see my full setup feel free to uh, send me a message in the comments i will uh, do that for you okay thank you guys for watching i will catch you guys on the next one bye